Turning now to an update in West Hartford where a pair of schools there have decided to keep the names but drop the controversial school mascots. A lot of places if they're looking for a compromise on this uh, issue, this may be one example. The school board has voted to officially remove any Native American symbols from the two high schools there but not the names. News 8's Noel Gardner live in the control room to explain. Hey, Noel. Hey, Allie and Jim. Yeah, it hasn't been that easy. It's been back and forth with students and the school board. West Hartford schools are ditching the Native American mascots and the logo. Conrad and West Hartford high schools will still call themselves the Chieftains and the Warriors, but now they have to come up with new logos. We can go forward as a town, as a st two sets of student bodies, and embrace these names with pride, with reverence, and with respect. And, you know, I, I certainly hope that we're not discussing this on a yearly basis. Um, I think we have to allow our students the latitude to come up with something that I think will make us all proud. Board members say no new images of Native Americans will be used in either school. Though the board's decision was unanimous, students are still split over it. Even if you give them another logo, these students do not want to change what they know because they have so much pride in it. And the board says the logos and mascots will be changed with the help of school administrators, teachers, students, and other members of the school community by June 15th. Reporting in News 8 Control, Noel Gardner, News 8.